Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, it's been five months since the launch of Black Ops Cold War, and after receiving several requests, I finally decided to try the Assault Pack. In today's video, I'll cover all the details. I'll explain how the Assault Pack works and see if I can find any hidden benefits helping you decide if the Assault Pack field upgrade is worth running on your favorite class loadout. The in-game description tells us that the Assault Pack is a supply cache containing ammo that gives bonus score for taking down enemies. The Assault Pack has unlimited duration and if unused will last until destroyed by the enemy. The default recharge time is 3 minutes and 15 seconds, but this can be reduced to 2 minutes and 25 seconds with the gearhead perk equipped. Once placed on the map, the Assault Pack acts as a mini ammo resupply station and can be used by anyone on your team. However, it only provides a total of 5 ammo top-ups before self-destructing. The Assault Pack serves two purposes, topping up your ammo and providing bonus score. Using the Assault Pack will top up your ammo reserves to a maximum of 6 times your current magazine capacity. An SMG with a 30 round mag will receive 180 rounds from the Assault Pack, while an LMG with a 125 round mag would receive a max capacity of 750 rounds. Unfortunately, unlike the supply crates found on most maps which resupply ammo and equipment, using the Assault Pack will only replenish weapon ammo and won't increase your supply of lethal or tactical grenades. In addition to the ammo top-up, you'll now earn a bonus of 25 score for each kill with the Assault Pack ammo, and you'll earn 15 score when teammates top up from your Assault Pack. Interestingly, after topping up with the Assault Pack, only the first 90 rounds fired will earn the bonus score. These 90 rounds are represented by the yellow background on your ammo count indicator. The yellow bar will be depleted as you fire ammo from either your primary or secondary weapon, and once the yellow bar is completely drained, you'll no longer receive the bonus score. Unfortunately, that's the extent of the benefits from the Assault Pack. You'll gain no extra score when teammates earn kills with your Assault Pack ammo, and there's no increase in bullet damage. Destroying enemy score streaks and equipment won't get a bonus, and an in-game death will remove the assault pack ammo from your reserves, and you'll have to resupply again before earning any bonus. In addition to all of these drawbacks, the assault pack has a health value of 150 HP and can be easily destroyed by gunfire or grenades. If that wasn't enough, enemies can top up from your assault pack, which automatically destroys it and allows them to earn bonus score. As we can see, the assault pack is an incredibly weak field upgrade, since we can simply use the resupply crates already provided on most maps, which includes ammo and equipment, or simply use the scavenger perk to resupply ammo from fallen enemies, the Assault Pack is an almost useless field upgrade, desperately in need of a buff. Increasing the score bonus to 100, adding extra vehicle damage, and improved wall penetration would make this field upgrade much more viable. Of course, this is just my opinion and I would like to hear from you guys. How would you change the Assault Pack to make it more competitive with the remaining field upgrades? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.